Hello Core Engineering family, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important wall used in our industry that is plug wall. In our last videos about the walls we have discussed about the gate wall, globe wall, ball wall, non written wall which is also known as the check wall. So if you haven't watched that videos, please watch that videos as well because that videos are also very very important for you if you are about to go in a industry to work so that videos are very very important for you because that all videos are industry oriented right so in this video we will discuss about the what is plug wall right why plug wall is used what are the application of the plug wall working of the plug wall as well as the types of the plug wall here are the different types of the plug walls used in our industry so we will discuss about that construction of the plug wall how the how is the construction of the plug wall how it is different from the ball wall or gate wall then in the last we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of the plug wall right so let's start the video with what is plug wall right so as the name consists plug wall right why we use the wall if i again tell you so let's suppose this is my line and in this line i use here one wall right this is the pnid symbol of the wall right so here simply what is the role of the wall wall can regulate the flow manually I, right now i am talking about the manual wall right it can regulate the flow it can shut the flow it can open the flow right so we also discussed that how many types of the walls how you classify the wall so in that there are two types of the wall the first one is quarter turn manual wall means in this wall what you do you simply when you have to open the wall and when you have to close the wall so it makes the angle 90 degree so that is the that's why it is a quarter turn wall are you getting my point what i want to say so a plug wall is a quarter turn manual wall if you will see here so if you right now let's suppose if there is the pipe so this wall is my in open condition right if you have to close that wall you will simply quarter means simply what you will do you will turn it at the 90 degree then it will be closed are you getting my points that's why the plug wall is a quarter turn manual wall which allow or regulate the flow in a line right so that's why this is a your this that's why this is a quarter turn manual wall right so now why it is a plug plug means simply if you will see like in your home there is the switches okay electrical switch that is a plug we say why because their shape is like that their shape is something like that are you getting my point what i want to say so that's why we have said that this is a plug wall means the wall if i talk about the wall so walls internal body is type internal body if i say or the disc i say that is a plug type that's why we say that this is a plug wall are you getting my point what i want to say now if you will see here this uh, like that is my wall okay this is my plug wall what i have done i have simply turned its handle to the uh, like parallel to the your pipeline okay in that case your wall is completely open or if i say simply 100 percent open right now why i have written here the throttled throttled means let's suppose this wall is open 60 degree okay at 60 degree this wall is opened okay because it is not completely closed or let's suppose the 80 degree so it is a throttled it means that it is not completely open or not completely closed it is a throttled means what you are doing you are simply regulating the flow manually and why it is written here closed because it is a 90 degree means we we have simply closed it so in an industry if that is let's suppose if this is a wall or any wall which has a handle so simply you can see that if there is the this type of the situation or like parallel to the your pipeline it means that the wall is completely open if this situation occurs or if this is the like 
simply you can say the situation it means that wall is partially open and at this point your wall is completely closed right i hope you got this point what i want to tell you about the plug wall now before application i would like to tell you the construction of the plug wall okay that is very very important and along with construction we will discuss about the working of the plug wall so if i talk about the construction so simply a, a wall has a body okay so it has also a body you can see here body means the your this portion okay the outer portion simply you can say so this is your simply a body right this is the plug or disc if i say so this is my disc or plug port and this plug port will be simply attached here when it will completely closed and this is simply you can say a seat that is very very important for you okay this plug is closed why the packing we use in our wall to simply prevent the leakage right are you getting my point why stem is used this stem helps to like on or off the wall okay this is my handle here okay which things are very very important that you must know okay this could be handle as well as the wheel as well but most of the time which i have seen that is the handle okay so now if i talk about the working so what will happen that simply your fluid is flowing from here okay so if it is let's suppose here see here here if it is at a close condition okay and your fluid is flowing like that so what you will do you will simply rotate this one this handle so when you will rotate it at let's suppose at the 60 degree so your wall will be partially open and your fluid will be go partially okay means partially fluid will go from one end to another end when it will be parallel to the your pipeline so when then it will go completely are you getting my point what i want to say that is very very important to know that's how the plug wall works okay plug walls are important in our industry okay there are many application where you will see that only the plug walls used how these plug walls are different from the uh, like ball wall in the ball wall if you will see the internal disc it is like a hollow circle right in a plug wall it is a hollow plug here you will see that how it is closed or how it is open what happens that here you can see okay in this picture see this is your this is your hollow hollow port you can say right at this situation right now it is a closed right when we will rotate it so what will happen that this portion will come here means it will it will come front of the fluid and your fluid will pass from here and go here are you getting my point why what i want to say but right now this is the phase or okay this is the obstruction to close the flow right so that's why that's why the your plug wall work right now the port or simply the disc can be a different different types it is a diamond type it could be diamond type round type or rectangular type okay see here this could be your diamond type this could be your round type this could be your rectangular type okay from here the fluid will go simply imagine like that or simply understand like that now there is a one question for you all and the question is that when will be the delta p high when will be the delta p high means in which case the delta p will be high like when we will use the diamond port when we will use the round port or when we will use the rectangular port okay that is the question for you all now let's discuss about the application of the plug wall okay so which i have seen mainly it is that the plug wall is mainly used in the low pressure application or low temperature temperature application means when your pressure or temperature is very low or very low means in a low comparatively low so that time you will see that we use the plug wall like in a like condensate line you can see that okay when let's suppose if there is a flushing line which you used that time also you can use the plug wall right and it is used for the directional flow control and throttling simply that is a very very important not like that okay now it can be used to regulate the flow and 
useful in slurries line slurry in the slurries line as well you will see most of the times i have seen that there we use the plug wall okay and it is also very very significant when let's suppose if you have used it in a like in a gas line you can use the plug walls in the like liquid line you can use the plug walls they work very efficiently that times as well now if i talk about the plug walls more if i talk about so plug walls can safely handle extreme temperature flow if the temperature flow let's suppose if there is a line where the temperature flows are very high let's suppose in a boiler case like then also we can use the plug walls right like in a boiler feed line condensate line as i discussed earlier or the uh, flushing line also we use the plug wall because if you will see in a plug wall you can easily shut okay means if there is a wall size is very small so if let's suppose if you want to uh, if you want to shut the flow quickly so you can use the plug wall okay because there is a handle so you don't require too much like the time it will not require too much time but in the case of the gate wall you will see what happens there is a wheel so you will rotate the wheel and then it will go to the closer point that is the disadvantage in case the gate wall but it is it is the advantage in the case of the plug wall right so let's go forward and now we will discuss about the advantage of the plug walls so if i talk about the advantages of the plug wall so the first advantage is that this is a simple in design okay and easy to clean in a line why because there is only a plug right so simple in design and easy to clean in a line repair and maintenance of plug walls can be done easily at a place of the operation means simply you can do it like repairing an operation okay that is also very very easy and most of the time the repairing and maintenance it doesn't require too much maintenance right and it is quick to open or close except large size because in the large size so too much force is required but in the small sizes it is very easy to quick open or close right it provides a leak proofing manage arrangement okay because we use here the gland packing which you can see okay and there is low flow resistance because simply what you are using here the hollow port is there so simply the flow resistance is low as compared to the other walls now if i talk about the disadvantages of the plug wall so the first disadvantage is that it is costlier than the ball wall because in a ball wall simple there is a hollow circle but in this case plug wall you have designed the port okay and also it 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 is little bit complex than the ball wall with respect to construction that's why it is a costlier than the ball wall it has more pressure drops because of its port size that's we have discussed in the types of the port okay that's why i i gave you the question that why what will happen when your port will be in diamond shape or in rectangular shape or in a circular shape right and if a wall goes to a large size it needs actuator to operate why because if it's like size will be more and more then what will happen that simply you will require more force to open or close it that time it will like it it would have need of the actuators in a first time it requires more force rather than a normal force just because of high friction because when you will initially when you will start it then it is sometimes i have seen that it requires more force right and let's suppose if there is a shutdown and after the shutdown when we take the start up that time also we face these problems okay in the last if i discuss then it has low flow passing area due to conical plug flow design so mainly this point it depends on the port size like how is your port but yes in that case that is that problem is also mainly like the engineers or the designer face 